Carles Puigdemont, the former Catalan president who spearheaded the 2017 independence referendum, has just announced that he will be the frontrunner for June's in the upcoming May elections. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Puigdemont has lived in exile ever since the peak of the independence crisis in autumn of 2017 and has been an MEP since 2019. He will benefit from the amnesty law, but before that comes into effect, it remains to be seen how he will campaign from abroad. Spain's top judicial authority approved a report on Thursday that considers the amnesty law unconstitutional. The council members were divided in their non-binding vote. The prisoner who killed the cook last week had demonstrated a positive development during his time in jail and his actions could not have been predicted, the justice minister said today. The inmate was sanctioned in October for punching another prisoner and did not want to participate in psychosocial sessions. L'inhabilita per accedir a les activitats ordinàries i del CIRE sempre que presenti bona conducta i un risc de reincidència delictiva baix. Carmaker Seat has announced record financial results with a profit of 625 million euros in 2023. The company's CEO called on the Spanish government to promote electric vehicles more, warning that investments and jobs are at stake. Necesitamos seguridad, estabilidad y objetivos realistas para seguir desarrollando nuestras inversiones. 7 in 10 LGBTQI plus people in Catalonia suffered some type of discrimination in their workplace between 2020 and 2023. The figure rises to 78% for all of Spain. Catalonia has a new plan to cope with the ongoing severe drought, felling trees. Authorities will chop down one in four trees in a forest in the north of the territory, as previous poor forest management has meant that there are many large trees soaking up large amounts of water.